Welcome to the homework for Lesson 7, Grade 3, Module 2. Get your name on here first. And we're matching each object with its approximate weight. And we'll look at these here. Well, you may remember from the lesson in school, either today or whenever you did it, uh, we weighed a lot of different things to see how much they were. Uh, a paper clip weighs about a gram. That's one that you might have tried. On a, maybe on a digital scale or some other kind of scale. But paper clips are about a gram. Uh, then we have <clears throat> we have three more choices. We got an apple, four pennies, and we have a bottle of water. The heaviest of these is probably the bottle of water. And because of the picture, we can't tell how big the bottle really is. It's a small picture. Uh, but if that was a big bottle, it might weigh, it would have to be about a quart of water. But if it were, I mean, there's no way the apple is going to weigh a kilogram. There's no way the pennies are going to weigh a kilogram. A kilogram is about two pounds. So it would take about two pints or a quart of water to make, that would be a big water bottle. But that's the only thing it could be. Um, the next lightest thing would be these four pennies. The apple would weigh more than the four pennies. So between 10 grams or 100 grams, the pennies are going to be lighter than the apple. So we'll give the pennies 10 grams and we'll give the apple the 100 grams. Now we have Alicia and Jeremy weigh a cell phone on a digital scale. They write down 113, but forget to record the unit. Oh, the shame. We always have to write down the units, don't we? I mean, I mean we're counting always something in math. and It's important to keep track of what we're counting. Well, which measurement, which unit would be correct? Grams or kilograms, and how do you know? Well, kilograms about two pounds, right? So, uh, 113 kilograms probably weigh more than your teacher so let's write that 113 kg would weigh more than you say more than me So it has to be under thirteen grams. And that's how you know. And here's the next page. Write and it's read and write the weights below. Write the word kilogram or gram with the measurements. You have to write out the whole word. You can't just write a kg or a g. You, this is about practicing writing the names for the units. So we want to know how to spell them. We have to practice writing them. And we got to read the scales. Now these aren't digital scales so we don't have numbers to look at. We have to look at read these almost like a clock face. Right? This is 10 that's 20 there. If I do these in pink, maybe it's easier to see. That's 10. Yeah, that's 20. That's 30. So right in the middle between 20 and 30. What's that? What's right in the middle between 20 and 30? 25. So that's 25. But these are kilograms, right? Just like that, you have to have the whole thing, the whole word written out, and it's spelled right up here, so you you know what letters to use. So it was a bag of soil, which is dirt, and this scale, much like a clock, goes from has twelve twelve marks going around twelve intervals. So we have it, but it only marked the even numbers. Right, so that's 2, so in between 2 and 4, this would be a 3, right? 
So they, they, because it's a small dial, they they don't want to crowd it, so they're only putting down the even numbers, so you can actually read the numbers, because otherwise it'd be too jammed in there. So we're counting by twos. We're counting by ones, but we're only writing in the even numbered ones. So this is one, two, three, four, five, we do this in pink so you can see it. That would be just like a clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's nine. Kilograms. And this scale is 500 kilograms. So we're looking at this. If this is this is 250, what can this be going by? Can it be going by tens? Because if we look at these marks here, what are we counting by to get to 250? If it was tens, we'd have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, not 250. If it was hundreds, it would be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, not 250. Well, that gives me an idea. So, if that's 500, then maybe it's every... It's got to be less than 100, but it's got to be more than 10. So we're counting by more than 10s, but not as much as 100. So let's, what about 50s? If we tried 50s, we have 50. This and this would be 100. Then this would be 150. And this would be 200. And this is 250. So it works. We're counting by 50s to get around here. So then that would be 300. And that would be 350. And that would be 400. 450. And we'd be back up to 500 all the way around. So that works. We're counting by 50s. So that means this right here has to be 200. And these are grams. Right? And you know the number has to be less than 250 because the, the needle here is pointing um, lower than 250. So that, that looks about right. And then we have a couple others to look at. Now this time they're giving us a little little zoom in. Like when you're shopping online, sometimes you get to zoom in on the picture and you get to see exactly the close details. So like where this square is in the picture, that's where this square is. So we can see this goes all the way up to 500, but we have 370 here. We can use the pink again because it's easier to see. 370 is here and 360 is here. So this dark line in the middle, that has to be 365, right? Because it's halfway in between 360. So you could just count the little marks here. And if I zoomed in even more, because I can do that on my computer, you could see 361, 362, 363, 364. That's the 365, 366, and we're, here we are, 367. Let me zoom back out. So this is 367, and these are grams. grams. All right, now the same kind of thing here. We have a little zoom in this picture. Now this is 110, and that's 100. So remember the numbers get bigger as you go in this direction, because you hear the arrow, this needle is, it's always going in this direction. So over on this on the one we just did, right, it's already past the halfway point and it's going up. The numbers are getting big, going bigger as you go up. On this side of the dial, the numbers get bigger as you go down. So when you zoom in like this, it's a little tricky. 
maybe only if you think about it, but we were in between 100 and 110, that's what matters, and we're right in the middle between 100 and 110, and that, that means we're at 105, so it's 105, and we're counting grams.